Greetings AMCers, I'm Lauren McFall. This Friday, October 21st, the new film Norman will be in select AMC theaters as part of the AMC Independent Program, supporting and celebrating independent film. Recently, our very own George Roush got a chance to sit down and talk to the star of the film, Dan Bird. Let's check it out. I'm talking with uh, Dan Bird, who plays Norman, lead character in the upcoming independent comedy drama. Would you say this is more of a comedy or more of a drama? Uh, well, I, I hate to use the term dramedy, but uh, I think that's kind of where we're at. Or like a dark comedy sort of thing. Yeah. You know, I mean... Because it's, it's, I, I don't know. Because halfway through, the film does take more of a dramatic a turn. A dramatic turn, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think most of the humor is coming out of hopefully, like, real, honest moments. So, I don't know, you know, what you would categorize it as. But, uh, yeah, I guess I always kind of looked at it as, like, a, a dark comedy with, like, dramatic undertones. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell, tell people a little bit about uh, your character for those that aren't familiar with uh, the film. Uh, okay, so Norman is this 18-year-old uh, high school student who um, is sort of socially outcasted, a bit of a misfit. He, uh, he's never really had people close to him from his peer group, uh, probably in his life. And he's gone through some tough stuff. He had his mom die a couple years prior to when the movie takes place. Now his dad's sick. And he finds a, a special way of, a uh, special type of coping mechanism to help him deal with all this grief that he's feeling. And, um, and that's basically what the movie's about. And then in there is also a love story with Emily Van Camp. Uh, who plays a new girl at school who kind of takes a liking to him and you know, maybe see something in him that other people just kind of glaze over and don't bother to really take the time to see, so. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, of Emily, I mean, what was it like working with her? Was it, uh, it had to have been, was it distracting at all? I mean, she's really, you know, she's a beautiful woman, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> every scene had to have been so difficult for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I mean, you know, most actresses are really pretty and just living in Los Angeles you're used to just seeing pretty people all over the place so I try and play it as cool as possible but uh, yeah no she's she's a beautiful and talented girl but I mean we were both so focused on what we were doing it didn't even really come into play as a distraction I mean she was flying back and forth because she was doing brothers and sisters at the time and so she had a lot on her plate I mean and was exhausted and I was exhausted just from being in every scene of this movie and we you know only shot for three weeks so we did all this in, in a very short period of time and you just didn't really have time to think about anything else but what we were doing so I mean, because it's probably a yeah. blessing in disguise because you guys have a couple of intense scenes especially the, the one in the car yeah uh, later on in the film mm -hmm. uh, did that take uh, was, was that a lot of takes to do or well you guys yeah no it's kind of like Again, since we're on such a tight, rigorous schedule, it's like you only have the amount of time that you have. So we didn't have a lot of time for anything we were doing. But, um, yeah, that, that scene was something that we were both, I remember, very, like, kind of nervous about going in because it was probably our most emotional scene together. Um, and, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> It was three years ago, so I'm trying to recall <laughs> exactly how it went down. But, uh, you know, she's a pro, and, and uh, I remember they did her coverage first, and she did a great job, and I just thought to myself, wow, i got to live up to what she just did. So, you know, you just try and rise to the occasion, I guess, in those circumstances.